Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another Fantastic Four video and I hope you enjoy. Galactus is one of the Marvel Universe's biggest threats, a cosmic storm that travels the galaxy, taking the energy from planets to fuel itself. Usually he is in conflict with the Fantastic Four, probably because he first appeared in one of their issues. His first appearance was in Fantastic Four, issue 48. The story starts at the end of another one, where the FF are helping the Inhumans fight back Black Bolt's brother, Maximus. The Fantastic Four manage to escape before Maximus kills them after overcoming Black Bolt, meaning the Human Torch has left Crystal. Outside Earth, we cut to the Skrulls. They are frantic, putting up a solar system blackout for themselves. They fear this new character called the Silver Surfer, but he is not the threat, but the one who comes with him named Galactus. Outside of Earth, the Silver Surfer approaches closer to us and decides to settle on Earth. The Fantastic Four return to Earth to a world gone mad. The sky is filled with flame but no heat from it. Everyone blames the torch for this at first. Later, after working for hours with no rest or food, Reed Richards reveals he's been secretly working with the Watcher. He is the reason the world looked like it was in flames. This is the first time Watu the Watcher has interfered with Earth's events. The Watcher is trying to save our world from the being known as Galactus. The Silver Surfer scouts out planets for Galactus to eat, then Galactus comes and destroys that world. When Surfer makes it to Earth, the Human Torch starts to attack him, but he's too fast, and the Surfer gets to contact the one called Galactus, since the FF can't stop him. The last panel shows us Galactus, a giant looking man in a suit of armor, this time it's red and green. Nowadays, I prefer pink and purple, but it looks cool here, except the corny G on his shirt that he wears. Most of this issue is just a build up to Galactus coming to Earth, and he deserved it. Silver Surfer doesn't talk in this issue, but we learn about his powers and his place in Marvel Comics. The Inhuman story seemed pretty epic, even in the end. I like that this moment is at the very start of the issue, which is already going to be iconic thanks to Galactus coming. Even with a lot of iconic moments and events here, the core of the Fantastic Four and all of their members are here captured perfectly. I gave this issue a 7 out of 10. The story for this part wasn't really good and mostly just a build up. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.